I'm Cynthia Mulligan. In this courthouse today, the trial began for three Toronto police officers charged with sexually assaulting a female parking enforcement officer. Now, City News first broke this story two and a half years ago, and this case is like so many other sex assault cases, difficult to prove beyond a reasonable doubt. The Crown laid out its case today. Video after video, frame by frame, these are small snapshots of security images introduced in court today that show the events before three police officers allegedly sexually assaulted a female parking enforcement officer after a night of drinking. They were partying on what's called a rookie buy night, where the rookies buy drinks for senior officers, and they ended up at the CC Lounge and Whiskey Bar, Pravda and the Brass Rail before going to a hotel room at the Western Harbour Castle. There is no dispute the officers, Leslie Nisnik, Joshua Cabero and Samir Kara from 51 Division had sex with the alleged suspect that night. DNA tests, for example, show the odds that semen found on the alleged victim's bra and necklace could be someone other than Nisnik's is one in 490 quadrillion. What is being disputed is whether the sex was consensual. The Crown alleges the assault involving intercourse and oral sex took place between midnight and 3.30 a.m. in the hotel room. Unsealed police documents show the alleged victim claims she had blacked out and then remembers two officers assaulting her at the same time. She said she was unable to tell them to stop. Despite all the video shown here today, there are two pieces that the court will never see because police don't have them. The first one is of the alleged victim in a cab with two of the suspects on the way to the hotel. The third officer was already in the room. Detective Sergeant Jeffrey Attenborough, the investigating officer, acknowledged on the stand he didn't ask the cab company for the video until after it was erased 30 days later. The second video that will never surface is from Pravda. According to Attenborough's testimony, the bar had promised to give it to investigators, but it was erased instead. The court heard today one of Pravda's employees is known to Officer Nisnik. The three officers have been suspended with pay since the charges were laid. Police began investigating nine days after the alleged assault when the female officer came forward with the allegations. Court also heard Samir Kara sent the alleged victim a text hours after she left the hotel alone, asking if she got home okay. The trial is being held before a judge alone, not a jury. 17 witnesses will be called, including the alleged victim.